Hi friends, once again, welcome to our channel Offshore Well. Today I would like to discuss regarding safety. As we know, safety first. It is written everywhere in all companies. Everybody is saying the same word, safety first. But why? What is the reason? It is simple because we cannot replace the parts. For an equipment, we can replace if the it is damaged, we can replace any parts. But our body, we cannot replace. So everybody's health is the first priority. And so let's have a look. What are the safety hazards in offshore? And what are the precautions or control measures taken in offshore? Whoever coming to offshore or platform, rig, vessel, they have to report the concerned person. It can be a medic or safety officer depends on the companies it's changing the responsibility metrics is changed so first first of all they have to get the t card i hope you are aware about the t cards if not it is a simple system which will describes or which will help to head count once you got the t card the second thing is we have to familiarize with the vessel we have to know where is our room where is our master session and where is your work location, canteen, smoking room, etc. And normally the third thing, there will be three type of alarms in mostly in the offshore vessels. We have to know first one is the fire alarm, second one is gas alarm, third one is abandoned rig. The first one, fire alarm. If there is a fire happen, it can be from electrical equipments, it can be from kitchen, it can be from welding. Any, if there is any hot work, there is a chance for a fire. So, in the vessels, we install fire detectors, smoke detectors, heat detectors. Different type of detectors are installed in all over the area. So, it will be detected and will inform us automatically. Otherwise, there is a call points we can inform manually. What we will do in case of fire? We have to stop our job safely and we have to assemble in a dedicated area. There will be a dedicated team for fire attacking. They will do the fire attack. Suppose the fire is happened in our workplace. In this scenario, we have to attack. We have to attack in initial stage. There will be portable and fixed fire systems. If we are doing any hot work, we have to keep the portable fire extinguishers with us. And if the fire is uh, uncontrollable, of course, the fire team will be take over. Second alarm is gas alarm. There will be toxic and flammable gases uh, in offshore and onshore fields. So we already installed many LELH2S sensors, gas detectors in all work area. So once the gas is formed or gas is released, it will be announcing. So we have to go assemble in our master session. As a control measure, we can use the breathing apparatus. Third one is the abandoned rig alarm. If in case of any emergency situations, it can be an un uncontrollable fire or any other situation. If we listen the abandoned rig, abandoned vessel, we have to move to our master session and we have to leave the vessel by using lifeboats or life rafts. All these alarms to getting familiarized, there will be a periodical training. It can be a monthly, it can be a weekly. There will be a training or mock drills. In all vessels stay safe uh, let's move to our second section job opening today we have a job opening in Sharjah UAE one of reputed company is looking for a structural designer and the qualification he have to be experienced in Aviva Marine so if you are an uh, Aviva Marine experienced structural designer with offshore experience please send your resume to me you know the mail ID, offshoreworld at yahoo.com. Have a nice day. Stay safe. See you soon.